this is the UNO board and plugged on it the Ethernet shield. There is a 20k pot between, between GRAN and uh, 5 volts DC. It's swiper wired to analog 5. All other analog pins are grounded. There are uh, three LEDs in the, uh, on the setup. The yellow uh, LED is connected to digital pin 1. The red LED on its left is connected to digital pin 4. And uh, the long legged red LED is uh, connected to PWM pin 5. That's pulse width modulation. And uh, the whole setup is uh, connected to to the router um, with uh, an Ethernet cable. Uh, now the, the software on the on the micro the microcomputer on the MacBook. Um, this field is the you know. You know board's uh, identification. In fact, the software can handle many cards as needed. Important point here is uh, the um, the board's public IP address provided by a by the Dean DNS service. 4832 is the, the port number. Public IP addresses can be seen from the internet. Here we have the the data refresh rate. We are going to choose one second. And this box is the command value. I'll use it later. And here we can choose the pin to, to monitor. Uh, we're going to ask the display the display of all values. Here we are. And uh, we can see that analog 5 is at 677 on a scale between 0 and 1023. Now we are going to get back to the UNO board and uh, turn the pot to modify the value at the uh, analog 5 pin to, to its maximum. It's done, so we have a value of 1,023. Uh, we are going to, to give uh, now commands to, to the UNO you know, from the microcomputer. Remember, we are on a LAN, but um, uh, this uh, computer, this MacBook, has a public IP address provided by the DNS and later uh, a remote operator, in fact a friend of mine, will do the same from his home in another city. My friend will use the same PHP software on this computer using his uh, Internet Explorer or whatever. But uh, for now, let's work on the LAN and uh, let's enter um, a value 1. And um, uh, let's send it to 
the pin number one. Doing so, we are going to light uh, the yellow light. Okay. Once again, we are, we are going to get to enter the video one and uh, send it to uh, pin number four now. That will that will light uh, the red lead. Okay. Now we're going to address uh, pin number five, which is a PWM pulse pulse width modulation uh, pin. That takes an argument between 0 and 2 and 155. Uh, it's a duty cycle. Uh, we are starting by a value of 10 and that will uh, give a low intensity uh, light. Um, with a value of 100 on pin 5. Uh, uh, will have uh, more light and uh, we are going to put the maximum 255 always on pin 5 for a b very brilliant result Uh, next, we are going to to turn them off. Pin five first. Pin four. And uh, pin uh, one. That's it. Now we can go to internet at large to do the same. Uh, sorry, the phone call is in French, but uh, you'll have the subtitles to follow. Allô, Hubert, mais vous êtes filmé. Ah oui, d'accord. <rire> Donc, euh, je vais te demander de, de faire quelques manipulations. Euh, tu as une LED 4 qui est allumée à l'heure actuelle. Je vais te, me, te demander de l'éteindre. Alors, je vais vous éteindre cela immédiatement. Voilà. Merci. Je vais vous demander maintenant, cher ami, d'allumer euh, la, la LED 1. Je vous, allume, je vous allume la LED 1. Voilà. Merci. Alors, on va regarder le, le tableau pour bien montrer que la LED 1 est, est prise en compte comme allumée par le logiciel. Et maintenant, je vais vous demander d'allumer de, la, la, la LED 5 qui est en... PWM. En, ouais. Alors, je vous la mets en, en pleine PWM. puissance. PWM. Alors, tu la mets en, en pleine puissance, oui. Sachant que... Décroît, ouais, voilà, voilà, voilà. Alors, en pleine puissance. Voilà. Sachant que le buzzer est un peu... Euh, est un peu faible. Alors, je vais à mi-puissance alors. 128, oui. Voilà. Voilà, c'est passé. 128. 
Et puis Alors, euh, maintenant, ben, très très faible puissance. Alors, je vais mettre à 10. Voilà. Voilà, 10. Ok. Euh, ben, C'est tout ce qu'on peut faire à distance. Le plus significatif. Ok, très bien. Ben, je te remercie et euh, bon après-midi. Bon, ben, à bientôt alors. À bientôt. Merci. Ok, it's 1 p.m. Um, I have to go to an appointment, but first, uh, let's check out the value at an uh, five, an allow five. It's 425. Okay, we are not very far from uh, home. Um, this is the, the, the bank of the river La Seine near Paris. Okay, we are roughly at 20 kilometers. That, uh, that is uh, 13 miles from my office and there is uh, no Wi-Fi. So I will access uh, the remote microcomputer, my MacBook, through uh, internet using my iPhone uh, uh, 3G connection. Oh, so we can see on the iPhone that uh, the value with the analog 5 pin of the Uno board is 425. I'm gonna give a command to the, to the remote Uno board and uh, uh, I'm going to put a 1 on uh, pin uh, 1 so uh, in order to turn on the LED, the yellow LED connected to the pin 1. Okay, I select the pin 1 and Enter, I validate. Well, later we will check, uh, returning to the address, uh, the status, the, the state of the yellow light, which on the panel is uh, to 1. The pin 1 is to 1. Well, now we are back to the to my office, and we can uh, see on the panel that uh, the pin one is to one. And uh, looking to the yellow board, we see that uh, yellow uh, LED uh, on.